What's good, everybody? It's your boy Raven C with the preview: Bengals versus the Ravens. Let's get to my thoughts, DJ. Spin that track. <laughs> So, the Bengals, Joe Burrow, this dude is the truth. He is really, really good. We're going to see him and Joe Mixon for a long, long time. Two young studs. Joe Burrow, 1,121 yards passing. Every game they've been in their first game, I believe they lost by three. Second game. They uh, lost by five, I believe. Third game was a tie. Fourth game, they beat them. They beat the Jags. And I believe they was going for, they went for uh, 30-something points. So he's getting better and better and better. You can tell this preseason has affected a lot of teams. The first game, I can tell he was still had them butterflies, but it seems like each game, he's stepping up and up and up. He's going to be giving us headaches, I believe, Sunday and years years to come. We already know Tyler Boy, 320 yards this year, and I believe he is going to he's going to have time. He's going to have time with MP Juice Man and that Mr. Make Him Fumble Marlon Humphrey on him. It's going to be interesting to see who's going to be on him. Uh... And AJ Green, AJ Green is getting up there in age as well. I believe the injuries is starting to take a toll. I don't think he's going to be a headache for us um, like he has been previously. And the Bengals defense, Carl Lawson had 3.5 sacks. He is good. He's doing better than Matthew Judon, but I'm going to get to that later. So. It's going to be an interesting game. My thoughts is for as the Ravens start off with the defense. We have to get that pass rush. I know Eric DaCosta is probably working on it because we need that help. We need Eric DaCosta's help. To help us get a pass rusher. There was a rumor with J.J. Watt. I've been seeing a lot of people putting uh, Chandler Jones. Me personally, I would be okay with either one of those people. Because Matthew Judon is not going to get that money from the Ravens that he wanted. Cause yet he has not shown it as of yet. There is no reason it took four games to get even just his first segment. That's ridiculous. I've seen Bowser putting a lot of pressure throughout games. And Matthew Judah, he's not going to be a Raven next year. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. I don't see that that rush, that passion that he had last year. And not and this year he has interior line the defensive interior line and defensive tackles right there that's way better than last year. He has a Calais Campbell, a Brandon Williams playing in the DT position that is doing phenomenal. He has a Derek Wolf. He should be putting up these sack numbers. It shouldn't take four weeks to get a sack. And I believe Marlon Humphrey is going to force a fumble. I believe every game this year he has forced a fumble, if I'm correct. Maybe miss one game, I'm not sure. But I think he has four fumbles, <laughs> forced fumbles this year. Hopefully, MP Juice Man can get an uh, interception. He didn't get one last week, but he, he everybody knows he's like Dice. You gamble, he's, he's that gambler. But I like that. I like that. 
it's the good and the bad, but sometimes he gambled, like he gambled with um, Deshaun Watson, and that was a beautiful interception he did all off of a gamble. And that and it seems like when MP Juice Man and Marlon Humphrey does something, that defense lights up. They go to another level of excitement. And that is good to see. When they do something, I'm like, okay, let's sit back. Because it, it, it's about to be a show on defense. It's like they're trying to top each other. And, and my boy PQ, that boy PQ, defensive rookie of the year, PQ. He had that one bad game against Kansas City. Then he was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I want, okay. You want to put me, okay. You want to try to like, you, you don't know who I am? Man, that boy been beat defensive rookie of the year. Right now, he got, hey, lead vote to me. Lead vote to me. Leading team in tackles almost every single game. Has he been leading the team tackles almost every single game? I think he has. I believe he's leading the rookies in uh, tackles as well. And he's getting he's getting faster and faster. He he, he I believe he, he has a chance. If he keep going up, 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 he's gonna pass CJ Mosley. He got a lot to do to pass Ray, but that's you know, that's years. He's gonna have to, he gonna have to do some stuff for some years. You know? It's hard to pass one of the greatest to do it. In the middle linebacker position, but he is balling. I'm gonna give him a PQ jersey. I'm gonna have to give me a PQ jersey pretty soon. Hopefully, hopefully, gotta save us some money for that. But that's enough about the defense. And I also just shout out talking about the defense before I get off them. Deshaun Elliott. You really haven't heard his name, but he is doing his thing. I've been seeing this dude knock the mess out of people. He's been laying them wood on them dudes' paws. But he been doing his thing. And then we go to the offense. Lamar Jackson, even he said he wants to work on that, that pass. And I'm going to say the best for last. We already know what I'm talking about, the bus. But... He won't work on them deep throws. And to me, if g Harps really want him to work on them deep throws, to have that offense open up where people just can't concentrate on Hollywood and Mark Andrews. And I forgot who said it. Someone said it in Graven Stream yesterday. We was all in. Shout out to everybody that was in there. He does. I forgot who said it, but. Lamar only do checks two people, Mark Andrews and Hollywood, and then he runs because he don't trust anyone else. He trusts Devin DuVernay. He wouldn't say I'll try to keep him under radar if he did not trust him. It's time to give Devin DuVernay his chance to shine. We can't do it. Everybody has said it that I watched dream talk about the Ravens can't do any worse Boykin is not doing anything it's time to give these rookies a chance Devin Duvernay and Jane Proche it's time to give them a chance Devin Duvernay 21.4842 speed he led, the, he led college in yak yards it was two first rounders that he beat in the Yak Yards first wide receiver. CD Lamb and Justin Jefferson's, I think that's his name is. He for the Vikings. But it's time to give this man a chance. When they if the when the Ravens offense go out there for the first time on Sunday, that is exactly who I'm going to be looking at. I'm going to be looking at the wide receiver court, and I'm going to see if Boykin is still starting or if they're going to put out their Hollywood and put out their Devin. 
And then that slot can be James or Willie Sneed. I would really like it to be James because James got them hands. And everybody said he reminds everybody. Dude got great hands. They praise his hands and practice. Why you won't give the guy a chance? Shannon Sharp once said, you know, everybody knows Shannon Sharp was drafted very late. And Shannon Sharp said, John Elway, when he first got his chance, John Elway spoke for it. And they listened to John Elway, and that changed the whole atmosphere. He said, we cannot, the defense could not stop Shannon Sharp in practice. So we might as well put him on the actual game field to see if they can stop him since they since the defense seems to not stop him. Devin DuVernay, James Prochet, if y'all, if the Ravens are praising these guys so much in practice, why not put them on the field? Stop holding back. Yep, they didn't have no preseason, but you might as well learn, learn on the actual field. You didn't see, playing the Bengals, you didn't see Joe Burrow, he didn't have no preseason. You don't see them trying to hold him back. Well, let's just hold him back for a second. You see what the Chargers doing? They punctured Tyrod just to have the old boy get out there. They had to have some reason. So let's give Devin DuVernay a chance. Let's give James a chance. And that's the first thing I'm going to see. Offensive line has to communicate better. We already know the first ballot Hall of Famer, Marshall Yonder, is gone. And it is showing. That interior is showing. They have to step it up. If not, Harb's gotta Harb's gotta stop being so friendly and start, man, you ain't playing good, so bye. Because when Boykin messed up, I believe last week with that interception, and you can tell Lamar's like, man, I don't trust this dude. I done threw him two good passes. His route is terrible. I seen that off a coach video. Shout out, coach, sip to Sally. But he is not that dude. So give Devin James out there and run the ball with the bus. Run the ball with Gus. But run the ball with him because Ingram is it's done, man. It's it's done. Gus been turning it up since day one. Then give it to J.K. When Gus trying to rush, bam, here you go, J.K. We need to extend Gus. We have to sign Gus. In my opinion, we have to sign him. So we can have our bulldozer and we can have the elusive JK. That one two punch combo, nice. Also, my final thought, my final thought, the score. This one, I believe the Bengals is gonna go up there. I have the Bengals getting between 28 and 31. I have the Ravens winning. I believe the Ravens possibility is going to get either 38 or they could because if the, I believe the Bengals get 28, the Ravens might win by, by 3 and get 31. So it's going to be a close game throughout. That's, that's pretty much my predicament. It's going to be a very close game because if Washington can sit there and I believe Hines, he he threw like 300, 15, 300, 12, 16 yards, something like that. And Joe has a way better arm than him. Way more weapons than he does have. Because the Bengals have some weapons. They're not big, big names. But AJ is dropping off. But that dude has some weapons. And he's getting better and better. That's why I respect. <laughs> respect him. 
because the last time we played the Bengals last year when they did not have him, we spanked the mess out of them 49 and to 13. And if we do something like that Sunday, oh, watch out for my reaction videos because I probably be running around all in my office. But so everybody tell me what y'all think. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for the support. God bless.